another issue is that with the floor of the nose is right where the apex of the implant is also, so there's not really any apical bone as far as in the implant sites for any kind of engagement. So very, very tricky. And how predictable is a vertical bone graft? So vertical bone grafts can be predictable with certain techniques. They're very technique sensitive and they need more time to heal. So a combination of things going on here, not a lot of native bone, infected implants with pus that's coming out of them, uh, possibility of losing a natural tooth because of the bone loss resulting from the implant failure. Now, one thing and one option that you could look at doing is if the bone loss on this tooth that's here is so much so that we think it would be better to remove that tooth, you do have good bone levels on the canine on both sides, even the one that's next to the tooth over here. Okay. So best case scenario, we can try to build the bone back up and get implants in, leave as many teeth as possible. Worst case scenario, we're still able to get a restoration that's a good service to the patient and by doing a bridge from canine to canine because canines have the longest root in the arch, so it's got a really strong foundation and it would be a very good cosmetic result, maybe using some pink porcelain to replace some of the missing uh, gum tissue due to the bone loss on the implant.